Well, I mean, surgery doesn't always work, and and what? not what and do you mean? <laughs> and not all um and not all people are actually um suitable for surgery, and so um, maybe the idea here is that you can actually sometimes get more powerful results with combining um, those three pillars that I suggested. Um, it's quite obvious these days that certain injuries actually don't respond that well to surgery and the rehab of the injury is actually more important uh, than the surgery <laughs> itself. So, you know, yeah. we found, you know, people have come to us for, you know, prehab work before surgery and combining the hands-on work, the personalised um, exercise rehab um, and really using evidence-based practice to get the protocols going. Yeah. Um, we can provide them with a much more powerful framework than sending them to surgery or getting wow. results that way. Wow. And I mean, you're saying we, we don't need surgery or it's still got its place as well? Um, I think most of the, for the most part, um, the rehab is the number one model first. And these yep. days, actually, the evidence is suggesting that most surgeons are sending people back to rehab first Yep. with a review after three to six months, allowing rehab to have its go, yep. and, then, um, and then reviewing them to see then if surgery is still required. Wow. Um, so in my experience, like working with people pre-surgery, yep. um, getting them to go through all the rehab process that we have in place, and then getting to actually maybe undergo some of the surgery, and then undergo some rehab after that is a much okay. more powerful model than someone just having surgery first, we get thrown someone that is, you know, unfit, unprepared for surgery mm. and then recovering from surgery and then they have to then start the whole process. Um, it's, it, they sit behind the eight ball Hard when work. they're doing it that way. Hard work. Yeah.